Well, Josh, are you ready to talk about some Aura Aura Arby's? I guess so. You still haven't told me exactly what Aura Aura Arby's is, but we'll see what, what's going on. Well, you know, normal Arby's, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. You go in there, normally some ugly hag at the register serving you, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, are your people at Arby's all fine and good looking? I mean, I don't, I don't judge. It's been a while since I've been to Arby's anyways. Oh, we got one of those people. Most of the Arby's closed down around us, right? Yeah. Yeah, I remember a few years ago when that happened. Actually, I think it was longer than that. I only know where one is that's still open. Uh, there's one by my place. So, is there? I've yeah. never noticed. Besides that one, you have to go pretty far. It's pretty far from the one I know. Ara Ara refers to the Japanese expression roughly translated as, Oh dear, my my, or well well. Alright. Which is often associated with Shotokan Hentai. I think I'm pronouncing that right. All right. To hint at a female character's sexual intentions towards a younger male, usually below the age of consent. Uh, okay, I, I can see where this is going. <laughs> I just don't. I don't like our audience's reaction. Whatever's on your screen. Is she doing some Ara Ara? So we did watch a Ara Ara quote unquote anime. Yeah. Which is Miss Caretaker. Yes, yes, I remember. The series follows Aiki, who, wanting to reaffirm his identity as a man after being teased for his feminine looks, moves to a lodging house in Tokyo to enroll in a new school. He develops a crush on the caretaker, and along with the other girls there, frequently tease him and make him dress up like a woman. Now, that description doesn't actually give credit to what the anime is about, which is the very, very cringy uncomfortableness of a grown-ass woman, 30 years old, with a, what, 12-year-old little boy. And not only is it the 30-year-old, it's also the 18-year-old, 16-year-old, 14-year-old. They all want a piece of those little boy. <laughs> all of them. And the anime, especially the English dub, doesn't outright confirm it. They drop off them hints hard. Actually, I think the only people that they outright say want a piece of them is the friends of the older character. Yes. They are very, very um, proud and open about their pedophilia. <laughs> very. They they want a piece of that little boy. It's funny, like, Japan's culture is so different than ours to where that is a subject that they can joke about. Well, going back to Arby's in particular, have you ever been to Arby's Facebook page, Twitter, or social medias? Never. Man, I don't know if they get licensed for this or they just do it and hope nobody gets sued. Because you know how sometimes they put the sandwiches and the fries in these cardboard Arby's containers? Yeah. They cut out those containers and color them and stuff and make figures of them. All right. And they're normally cartoon or anime figures. Like they made one of Satama from One Punch Man. Okay. Uh, Deku. And then also Spongebob. All right. I like it. That's basically all their campaign is and they're hoping that people will share the image and be like oh that's cool and it gives them free advertising yeah actually i sent you this one one time which was they made a arby's magic the faggoting card i think this is based off the black lotus i believe is the most expensive magic the gathering card there is i wouldn't know i mean i only play the game i don't really look it up well i did look it up it says currently in ultra rare beta deck whatever that means so, an ultra-rare beta cis cuck deck of Black Lotus is up for auction on a site which is asking a price of $100,000. For one card? Yes. What does this card do that it makes it so powerful? Um, let's it's see. It's so worth so much, let me rephrase. So, I'm looking up right now on tcgplayer.com, which is asking $42,000 for this card. Oh, God. It adds three mana... Of any single color of your choice to the mana pool, then is discarded. Tapping this artifact, played as an interrupted? Okay. I don't know what this means. I don't I don't play it. I don't know what it means either. It's too new for me. I think Black Lotus is old. But the reason why I think it's based on that is that the Arby's card that they made is called Brown Hat, and it has a zero, and it's an artifact. And it says, you sacrifice Brown Hat, add three mana of any color to your mana pool. So it seems to be based off Black Lotus. Sounds like it exactly. <laughs> Except it's not tapped. Black Lotus came out in August of 1993. Wow, that is that's old. That's that's old. Oh, I think I, I think I got it. Oh, and this article talks about that 
A recent Black Lotus just went for $87,672 after a closed bidding. So someone bought it. Yeah, for $87,672. God, that's too much. Okay, so an interrupted means no one could play anything but an interrupted in response to interrupted. So it's faster than an instant. So an instant can be played at any time. Yeah. But this is faster than that. Okay, so then the Arby's card's not as broken <laughs> because it, it's not interrupted. It just adds three mana of any color to your mana pool. Yeah, so it's just a regular artifact. So, Josh. Yes. Ghetto Kaiba. Just imagine walking into an Arby's to a bunch of large-breasted, older women that are like mother figures. <laughs> are you okay? <sighs> yeah. And then just ordering your food, and that's R R Arby's. I'm not young, so they want not to flirt with me. They want me to offer. Do you have a baby face? Do you have a baby face? Audience, do you have a baby face? Yeah, a little. Okay. Yeah, especially if you shaved. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If I shaved, I, yeah, I look so young. This is coming off the tails of the Femboy Hooters and Tomboy Outback meme. So they've gone past that into other restaurants that have other uh, hentai tab characteristics. Oh, I just, I don't know what to do with all these memes. If it's not on iFunny, then I don't know about it. It should be. It's not. It should be. <laughs> like, it should be. I might be behind, but I definitely haven't seen anything well, like that. Well, the problem is iFunny's not as dank. Like, iFunny is funny. You need them dank memes. Them 420 <laughs> deep web memes. I keep hearing iFunny's dead that, or at least I read it in the comments, iFunny's dead is not a funny app no more. Actually, you know where I get my really funny memes from now? Is I'm on a few uh, dick sword groups. Of what? Dick sword groups. Dick sword? Yeah, dick sword groups. Okay. I'm in the Nick Arcata one. And he has one that has a meme section on there. And I'm also on the dick sword of WTF Sexy Headphones, which is a YouTuber I watch. And she also has a meme section. And the memes posted in the dick sword chats are incredibly funny. It is the new kick. Because the kick app is where I used to get my dank memes from. I haven't heard of kick in like so many years. Yeah, it's dead now. I've tried to get on it, but all the groups I used to be a part of just gone dead. Dick sword posted. Okay, I think this. <laughs> 